Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, the e-commerce director at Long MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to talk about the 2015 Ford F-150, the Lariat trim model. Uh, if you haven't checked out any of our videos, we're going to have a link down below to the XL, XLT, uh, as well as after this video, you, you, we'll also have videos on the Platinum and the King Ranch. Check those out. Uh, but this uh, video is going to go over the equipment that is a step up from the XLT. So we're going to talk about standard equipment on the Lariat. Uh, trim model as well as some of the optional equipment and some of the package codes you get from uh, when you go on up from that So uh, go ahead and uh, check this out and hopefully you enjoy it starting on the Lariat standard engine is a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine uh, That's standard on your base model as well as your uh, 501a the mid-level uh, package now you can get the optional 5.0 uh, which also comes uh, V8 uh, which also comes standard on the luxury package the 502a package so uh, keep that in mind as well as the available 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost especially if you need lots of towing that's the engine you'll want to go with uh, that is also optional on this of course cab styles you can get in a regular cab super cab or the uh, super crew as you're seeing here so you can get a, a regular cab Lariat if you'd like of course comes in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive so uh, that's real nice, uh, uh, both the flexibility is what you need. So, Now starting here on the going over the uh, exterior of the vehicle, um, what you're going to start with here is your three bar chrome grille. As you can see here, kind of sets itself apart from the XLT. It does have the chrome surround here, so you're going to enjoy that. Uh, that is a little bit different than the XLT as well as the black mesh here on the, in the, in, in the uh, inserts there. So that's real nice. Your bumpers here are going to normally be your body color bumper. Uh, in this case, you're seeing this has a two-tone package, so it's, it's the uh, caribou accent there, but that normally will be your um, body color grill or bumpers with your tow hooks there are going to still be chrome. Of course, just like an XLT, you're going to have the fog lights there, standard, uh, and your automatic headlights. So, and Now, your uh, wheel here is going to normally be an 18-inch machine alloy wheel with silver pockets. Now this, is a, this wheel here, as you can see, is actually from the Lariat chrome package that was added to this truck. Um, so it's a little bit different. You're also going to get uh, wheel lip moldings here, but they're going to be body colored. Uh, unless you go with the two-tone like this one, then it's going to be that, whatever color that two-tone is. Really nice options on the mirror. Um, pretty much as, as high as you're going to go, it's going to be your power fold mirror. Uh, it's also going to have the heated uh, power glass signal on the outside. Also have approach lamp. It's going to light up the, the ground in front of you, so that's going to be really nice for you. Uh, also comes with memory features, so that's a great feature. You have memory seats. Um, the mirror is going to be included in that. And normally you have a body colored uh, skull cap here. Uh, this and being that chrome package is going to be chrome there. So, so some real nice features there. Your door handles are going to be body colored, uh, unless you get the chrome package, like this one does have. Uh, also your tailgate. Coming around back here, your tailgate handles are going to be uh, body color, as you can see with the body colored surround like this. Uh, this one has the chrome package, so it's got that chrome accent there. Uh, your tow hitch is going to be a uh, standard um, as well. Um, and then coming, opening that up, rear view camera as well. That's really nice. That's standard equipment on a Lariat. And these LED box lights, real nice. You just turn it on there. It's going to light up the box real nice going to the uh, light that's coming from the top also is going to light up for you so I uh, really light up that box for you that's standard equipment as well on the Lariat so now moving on to the interior okay of course Lariat that's usually where you go and you get your uh, get your leather seats now last year you was a, you were able in an XLT to get leather this year you are not you do have to go to Lariat to get leather seats going to come standard with a 40-20-40 split bench seat here in the front just like this one. Of course the console is flipped down. Heated and cooled power seats so 10-way power adjustable including your lumbar so for both the, the driver and front passenger um, heated and cooled. So driver memory as well three different settings for the for those different memory settings uh, for your mirror your seat as well as your power adjustable pedals they're going to be memory as well so it's going to bring those settle those pedals are going to come forward and back for you uh, so that way you can adjust it just just perfect for any size driver the black leather wrap steering wheel makes it real nice and soft and plush that's going to be standard equipment for you um, some other features you're going to have your sync with my four touch also you get Sirius satellite and dual zone climate control 
Uh, and of course, last but not least on the interior that's standard on all Lariats is ambient lighting. So it's gonna light up your footwells as well as your, your door handles and such. So it's, they're easy to see in the, in the dark when you're getting out of the vehicle. So that's all the standard equipment on a uh, 500A package Lariat. And now we're gonna kind of go over some of the packages when you go to 501A as well as 502. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the 501A. It's the mid-level package on the Lariat. This package is a package I think you're gonna, everybody's gonna like. We order a lot of these here at Law MacArthur. Uh, a lot of great features will go along with this. Some nice safety features. Uh, one of them is the LED uh, box, the lighting here on the outside. Uh, that's just gonna light things up in front of you on both sides. Great for those uh, farmers and such that are needing to, to drive along and it's a really dark, or, uh, dark area. That's gonna light that up for you. Uh, on either side, you can do one side or the other or both. So, also you're gonna get a more high intensity um, approach lamp. So it's gonna light it up a lot more than your, your normal approach lamp. So that's gonna be really nice in, in the evening as you're walking up to your vehicle. Uh, also Bliss, uh, it's a blind spot monitoring system that Ford come up with. Um, so it's got the little cars there with the little light. So if somebody's in your blind spot, it's gonna let you know by lighting that up, as well as cross traffic alert. If you're backing up in that parking lot, there's someone that's about ready to, to be behind you. They're in your blind spot area. It's gonna let you know that as well by some lights as well as some tones uh, in the vehicle. So some really nice features there. Nice safety features that you're really gonna like. Um, another feature I really like is remote start is gonna be standard on the 501A mid-level package. What I really like about the new remote start is that when you press it, the remote tells you by lighting up green. So it knows that it's started. So if you're inside, you can't hear the car or hear the truck it's gonna let you know by lighting that up green and when it's red, it means it sh it's shut off. So uh, if it didn't work, it's gonna light up red for you. So you're gonna get to know that. The other feature with the remote start is the remote tailgate. So also you press it twice, it's gonna open your tailgate for you. So really nice feature too. Um, comes in handy, especially if you're carrying some things and you're getting to the back, you can use that. So, and lastly on the outside to really help out with safety, you already get the rear view camera standard equipment on the Lariat, but you're also gonna get your backup sensors, which will let you know that someone's behind you, giving you those alerts, uh, those sounds that you're getting closer and closer to someone. So that's a really nice feature. Okay, lastly on the mid-level, things that are standard, you get your garage door openers up to three different garage doors. So you can program some gates, uh, whatever you normally use. Uh, a lot of, if you have a two-car garage, you can program those in there for you as well. And then of course also a feature that I really like, we order these a lot on XLTs, but it is standard on a mid-level Lariat, and that is the uh, outlet here. I love you have the power point as well as your, your normal, your 110 outlet. So that's a really nice feature for those kids with cell phones. You can just plug them in, computers, whatever it might be. As you're going down the road, they can be on their computer and, and plugged in. So really nice feature there. Uh, like I said, we ordered almost all of our XLTs as uh, optional equipment, but it's gonna be standard on your mid-level Lariat. Okay, now we're gonna talk about when you go from the mid-level, the 501A package, to the 502, the Lariat Luxury Package. Uh, one of the things uh, mentioned, I forgot to mention earlier is intelligent access with push button start. It's actually standard on all Lariats. That's a feature I, I didn't mention earlier. I wanted to make sure everyone knows. Uh, that's a really, really great feature, being able to leave those keys in your pocket while you start the vehicle. Um, but also, uh, like I mentioned earlier, when you go to that Lariat Luxury Package, you get that 5.0 liter V8 as standard engine. You can also get the upgraded uh, 3.5 liter uh, V6 EcoBoost as well. Uh, that's also an optionally optional engine for you. Uh, now, what's standard here on the 502A, that's an upgrade from the 501. You get all those great features from the standard on Lariat as well as the 501, plus you get these features I'm about ready to cover for you. And one of them is your quad beam, uh, LED headlights and LED tail lights. So it's of course, that was brighter, it's gonna light up the road for you, and make, it, and make it a lot easier for you to see the road. Uh, also, you get automatic high beam uh, with rain sensing wipers. So that's a really nice feature. Um, brighten those, uh, those high beams uh, for you automatically. You don't have to worry about that. As the cars come, it's gonna shut those off for you automatically. So it's a really nice feature. Love the rain sensing wipers. Uh, another feature that goes along with that is when, that, when it's raining and those wipers are turned on, it's gonna automatically turn your headlights on. Because that is, uh, in Kansas anyway, that is a law. You have to have your headlights on when you're using your wipers or when, you're head and when it's raining. So a uh, nice feature there. Another feature that's standard on the outside that we'll be talking about is the Lariat Chrome Package. 
Uh, we kind of we saw that on the other vehicle that we uh, watched er earlier. That was optional equipment on those, uh, which you can get on a 500 or the 501A, but it's standard on a 502. So you're going to get your chrome bumpers, front and back bumpers. You're going to get your chrome tow hooks. You're also going to get your uh, chrome wheels, as you can see here. Uh, so really nice upgraded chrome wheel. You're going to get your chrome mirror caps, your chrome door handles, as well as your tailgate applique, like we talked earlier. And you're going to get your chrome uh, running your step bars there, your running boards. So some real nice chrome features uh, that really dresses it up. Uh, that's kind of what you normally see on uh, some of your lariats in the past. You have all those chrome features, and so that's a good package that you can have. So let's go ahead and go on the inside and cover some of the interior features that you get as well. Some of the interior features that you get when you go to that 502A package, uh, you're going to get your bucket seats with flow-through console. So it's going to be an upgrade from that 40-20-40 split bench seat that you get on the base model uh, or the 500A package. Uh, you're also going to get heated rear seats. So those out two seats that are by the windows are going to get heated seats now uh, in the 502A package. Uh, some other great features for the driver here, you're going to get the heated steering wheel, which is really nice. It's going to warm up that steering wheel in the winter time. It's going to be real comfortable. It's a feature I think you're probably going to, you're going to want on every vehicle after that if you get that. Also, you get a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. So it's going to, forward, it's going to go up and down, forward and back, just like your tilt and telescopic does, but now you get it powered. So it's a lot easier to control, especially if you're at a stoplight or something and you want to do that. And don't forget that's a memory feature, so it's going to be saved along with your mirrors and your seat and your uh, pedals. So real nice features there. You're also going to get your Sony audio with the HD radio and you're going to get your uh, navigation. So that's going to be some great features um, on in the My4 Touch they get, that's an added feature for you. So uh, now we're going to cover some other great features, some optional equipment that you might want. Uh, and if you see some things in the 502A, they say, I don't really need this, this, and this, but there are some that I did see. Uh, don't worry about that, because I'm gonna go over those. There are some optional equipment that you can get on the 500 and 501A. Okay, now I'm gonna go over some optional equipment. Now keep in mind, some of these uh, things that uh, you did see on the 502A package are optional equipment on your 500 or 501A. Uh, now some things you need to have the 501A to even get, like the uh, Lariat, uh, sport appearance package, which is like the chrome package, but instead of your chrome bumpers and your chrome door handles and chrome wheels and such, you're going to get body colored. So it's a, it's really like getting that STX package or the FX4 package uh, with Lariat seats. That's pretty much what the sport appearance package is, and so you need that 501A package to get that. So keep that in mind as we talk about some of these some of the equipment options that you can get. Uh, some of the features, the LED. Um, Light here on the outside is optional. You don't have you come standard on that on the 501, 502A package, but it is optional uh, for you on the 500A package. Also, your uh, your running boards, optional equipment for you if you don't get the Lariat Chrome package, uh, you can get that as standalone option. You can also get power running boards. Uh, so I believe you have to have the 502A package to get that, but that's an option that you can get. Real nice. Uh, allows those running boards to kick down and it keeps the top of them clean in the winter time um, when they're folded up underneath the truck while you're driving so that's a real nice feature um, of course backup sensors standard on, on some of those packages but you can get as a standalone option as well as a box sidestep um, this one doesn't have that but if you check out the uh, the neck the video the platinum and the king ranch video we're going to actually have a, a truck that has that on it but it's a sidestep uh, right here, you just, you just can kick it out with your foot and allows you to step on it and get and grab stuff on the behind, right behind the cab, so that way you don't have to get up and in the in the back of the truck. So, and some other great features, uh, spray and bed liner. We can actually do those here, but it's something you can get from the factory if you'd like. Uh, you can also get a, a, a tailgate step, which actually this has. Let me show you that. A um, little different than last year. I really like the tailgate step. Um, a lot of people wondered about um, some of the uh, the box link. A system with the stowable ramps, which is also another optional equipment, is those ramps would actually slide on a rail right here. And a lot of people said, well, because it has to have a different cover over the bed, they said, well, how's that going to work with the tailgate step? Well, they, they did one better. They changed that. So now your tailgate step is right here. So real nice. It's right in the back. Also, the handle, so much easier to get to. Uh, instead of having to, to bring it up and being in your way, now you have a normal functional tailgate that you can sit on, that you can put things on, and it's not all uh, clumpy and getting in the way with that, the other tailgate step. So real nice system. I really love 
and this tailgate step much easier than the, than the old version and allows us to be able to use the stowable ramps uh, with this so you can still get tailgate step with the stowable ramps and it works so so another optional uh, feature that you may want to look at getting so of course nice and easy to put away as well so um, backup sensors you can get your tow package uh, and that's pretty much what you're getting but it's going to get you uh, some a transmission cooler it's also going to get you some better hookups it's going to get you a towing uh, guide on the on inside the truck which is really nice you can uh, go through and it goes through the different things and making sure that you've connected your your trailer that you put your wires that you put on your tow hooks uh, that you uh, check the, the your lights on the trailer itself so it kind of takes you through the connections just to make sure it's a checklist to make sure you've done everything so that comes with your tow package as well and you can get your max trailer tow package which gives you a, a be able to, to tow a lot more. Of course, you have to have that 3.5 V6 EcoBoost to get that package, uh, but you also then get your uh, trailer tow mirrors. So it's a little bit bigger mirror for you than what you, you're getting on this truck, uh, but it extends that out and then you can even power fold those out uh, so you can see real nicely and see that trailer behind you. So some real nice features. You can get a bed extender. Uh, all the features you're used to on some of the older uh, models, of course, um, carry over. You can get those with this. Um, you know, some of the interior features we've already kind of talked about uh, are optional, uh, like the, uh, your 110 outlet, uh, your Sony audio with HD radio. I think you have to have the 501A package, but you can get that as an optional equipment. Um, heated steering wheel and heated seats, so I think you do have to have the 502A package to get. But, so, so some great features for you, optional equipment. Of course, you get some uh, different wheel options. There's three different 20-inch wheels that you can get. Uh, so, of course, check those out and see which one you like the best. So, I uh, hope that really helps out. I'm going to show you, though, a couple other features on the, on the interior this truck has that are really nice as well. Okay, a couple other features that are really nice uh, safety features that are available on, on the 502A and on up package. Uh, one of those is you have the adaptive cruise control with uh, collision warning. And that's basically when you're going on the highway, uh, you're going to be able to, it's going to, You'll be able to set your cruise, and if you get close to someone, it's going to slow you down to go to their speed until you pass them and then speed you back up. Collision warning when you're in town, if you're getting close to someone and they're not turning yet and you're not stopping, it's going to put some lights up on your windshield and uh, some beeps and let you know you, and kind of uh, alert you to that, as well as brake support goes along with that. So, real nice feature there. Uh, check out our other video. We're going to do a video that has uh, some of these features like the adaptive cruise and the uh, lane keeping and such and we're going to go over that as well. Uh, Active Park Assist is also an optional equipment this truck has. Uh, of course check out um, again that video that we have on that those technologies and uh, this one also does have the technology package which includes your lane keeping system which is really nice uh, allows you to stay in your lane if you're going to veer from your lane without hitting your turn signal it's going to bounce you back and keep you in the middle of your lane so it's a really nice feature i have that on a vehicle and it's it's outstanding i love using it i also let you know when you let your hands off the steering wheel for too long it alerts you for that as well um, and this feature also does, this vehicle, the technology package, has your 360 degree camera, which I love. There's cameras on the, both the mirrors, uh, front of the vehicle and the back of the vehicle. So as you can see here, um, you can see all the way around the vehicle and you can see this is the inside of our building here. You have the logos on both sides um, and you can see, I mean, it's, you can see completely around it. Um, as, I, as I turn, you can see the vehicle turn, you can see the pavement change. Also has a dynamic uh, hitch assist, so it lets you know those dotted lines, that's where your hitch is going to be, and lets you know if you're headed right into it just right, and you're angling just right or not. So I love those lines, so uh, that's, um, that's part of that technology package. Uh, so it's a great package, lane keeping in the, in the 360 degree camera. It's a great feature there, I uh, really like that. So a couple optional equipments uh, that I uh, um, wanted to go through, so if uh, hopefully this video it uh, gives you a good idea of how you want to equip your vehicle. Uh, Lariat is one of the most popular trim models um, that, that we have. That's probably between that and the XLT we, or most of our F-150s that we order. So, uh, of course, a lot of times we order the 501A, 502A. Um, some of those you get a good discount on a lot of the equipment, so you get some a great equipment for a lower price. So sometimes you may say, well, I don't want this feature or that feature. Um, 
and so maybe you go with the 500A and you add a couple things, but when you figure out the packages and how they're discounted, uh, they give you usually a discount when you go up to a 502A, um, you get a lot of features for free. So um, really uh, keep that in mind and, and really, if you wanna go ahead and get a truck, come in, check us out, um, talk to us. Uh, we can advise you on that and tell you what's a great way of packaging the, these things together. So Ford has done a great job with those packages. And so hopefully that'll help you and give you a good idea how you wanna equip your Lariat truck. And don't forget to check out the other videos on the XL, XLT, King Ranch, and Platinum as well.